Die, four, three. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into murder. Welcome back to Ape Entertainment. I'm Captain Paul. That's Fajardo. What's going on there, Fajardo? Chilling here for another episode. Yay! Right. So we're, we've been doing some music. Let's uh, let's do a little comedy from our one of my favorite Long Beach Riffy. Uh, you know, I think you kind of enjoy some of his content as well, Fajardo. I don't think I'm going out of limb saying that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, we're we're gonna go into something that's perfect for just talking about. But before, actually, before we get into the video. If you are not subscribed already, most of our viewers are not subscribed to the channel. We're trying to reach 500 subscribers before the end of the year. Our stretch goal of 1,000 may be possible. So if you enjoy this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more. So uh, let's get right into it. Long Beach Griffey, how to not get offended. And uh, let's go. Hey, Long Beach Griffey. How did you get in my house? Shut the fuck up, no! You transphobic, homophobic, xenophobic, rape apologist, racist piece of shit. I don't no. fucking like you. I don't like your fucking content. Why do you watch it? I don't. But every single time a controversial post of yours goes viral on Twitter, I have to quote about you and let everybody know that I don't fucking like you because for some reason i have to be involved with your cancellations every single time okay okay i mean <laughs> yeah i like this because he's calling out the people that constantly outrage about his videos which mm -hmm. are comedy they're comedy videos if you gotta take those super serious i don't know what to say to you mm -hmm. i don't um if you don't like have you ever tried just scrolling past my content when you see it on your timeline? <laughs> Why the fuck would I want to do some stupid ass shit like that? <laughs> I don't fucking like it. So I'm making it my goal to spread the most misinformation about you and the most hate. Hold on. Pause this. Pause until this. You're yeah. So, so. I want people to understand, and this is what I mean. Like, there's never a point in getting mad, or 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 like really just staying angry at somebody. Or it takes too much energy. First of all, second of all, all you do is give that person that you don't like way more power than they need, right? One of the biggest people that got away with this, or that were was able to blossom from this, Howard Stern. Yes, the, I, yes, the, I, when, yes, when he was yeah. when he was coming up, right when he was coming up through the radio system, he had his set followers and everything that was pretty high, and they would listen to him for an hour. Now that that was an average Howard Stern fan base. The average Howard Stern hater listened to him for two hours because yeah. they were they were dying to see what he'd say next. Yeah. So they can try to jump on it. But you're giving him more power. And people don't realize this. This is so funny. It's so true, though. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you gonna get yours, buddy. Doesn't that take a lot of energy? Like, more energy than ignoring it? Acting like I don't exist? Just going about your day? You just live rent free inside of my fucking head you have for years. And even though I do not know you personally in real life, everyone hates you, so I have to hate you. And if I don't hate you, then I am enabling everything that people think that you are. I'm not surprised. <laughs> there was a way that you can never, ever see me on your timeline ever again. Like, ever. <laughs> that or anything else no, that I you. The fuck are you talking about? There's this one thing you can do. <laughs> He's about to go there. To acknowledge. There's only a certain few that you can <laughs> Oh, here we what? go. What? There's this thing called the block button. 
that? <laughs> Every social network platform. Once you utilize it, you will never see my content again on your timeline. No, no, no. You're a liar. There's no way. There's no fucking way that that's possible. I'm serious. I blocked Paul Patrol seven years ago. I haven't seen him stupid ass fucking dog since. <laughs> Bruh. Yo. No. <laughs> I'm no. done. No, no. Fuck you. No. Block me. No. Block me. God damn it. Block me. No. Block me, nigga. No. Block me. No. I'm not going to block you. I'm not going to leave you alone. I'm going to continue to let your content bother me. And every time I see your content on my I'm going to comment something negative. Fuck you. <laughs> bro, yo, bro, yo, dude, that, bro, the other ending, that. <laughs> like, come on, man. Yo, I'm in tears, bro. I just love the energy at the end. We just started hauling off because it's true. <laughs> people, people, there are people that are really that dumb. Like, they're like, yeah. I hate it so much. I'm gonna keep on following. Why yeah, the fuck? It's, it's, like, it, it, like, bro, it's it's weirdos that get that. Like, see, listen, if I don't uh, like something, I don't I don't continually go back to it, right? Like, if I don't it, like if I don't like someone, I'm not gonna go stalk it or follow its content. Like, there's a lot of creators that I do not like due to either their personality or just whatever they make. I don't follow them, and I'm fine with that. I don't see the point of wasting my energy because, when, like you said, to a greater degree. When you waste your energy on hating something so much and just constantly hate watching it, all you're doing is supporting them and giving them more money. Like that that's it. Like you're yeah. you're helping them out in the long run. Yeah. I mean and and it's just it's funny for me cuz like watching Laundry B. Griffey, like it is sad he's considered controversial cuz all he does is just take the piss out of everyone. Cuz yeah. like really like if I feel like if you went a decade ago, he'd be kind of like moderate, you know what I mean, moderately offensive, offensive. Yeah. Like, but in today's climate, he's the most offensive thing out there. But uh, let me know, uh, let me know your thoughts there, Fajardo. What would you rate this? Uh... Uh, it's a ten for me on uh, on this one. Uh, normally, mm -hmm. I give uh, Long Beach a little bit less, uh, but no, this one kind of, I can it, it resonates with a lot of things. Uh, <laughs> you know, like it's facts. Like the stupidity, I hate you, so I'm gonna keep on following you. Listen, get a get a get a fucking life, bro. You hate something, just fucking get away from it. What's the point? You, you know what it is? Deep down, if you hate something, this and look at me right here. Deep down, if you hate something that much, and you keep on following it, it's because secretly, secretly, you want not to hate it at some point, so you can love it with all this emotion that you had hating it. Now you're gonna love it. Just saying. I mean that's a that's a fact. I had to, had to go in with the zoom in, yeah. little, uh, little Bro. address right there. But uh, I agree, I agree with you. Ten. I don't have much to add there. You hit everything on the head. I said what I had to say. So let us know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What would you rate this comedy sketch? Also, is there any Long Beach Griffey or any other type of comedic sketch you gets, Excuse me, that you would want us to watch and listen to? Uh, we're trying to reach 500 subscribers before the end of the year, so if you could subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated. I'm Captain Paul. That's Fajardo. We are April Critique, and we will see you in the next episode. Peace. Peace.